Hi, welcome to Pop Paul's Workshop. I got two things going on in the shop today. One, we're doing a production run on putting my logo on the backs of the projects. And I'm going to do that and show you just how easy it is with the Lightburn software and my laser engraving. The other thing that I'm trying is can I cut all the way through an eighth inch piece of plywood with my 7 watt JTEC Photonics laser. Let me show you how that went. Let's get started. Today I am finishing up my signs that I've been working on now for a couple of different videos and I'm putting the logo onto the back of each one of them and I'm just doing a small production run and I want to just show you how easy it is to go from one to the other and swap it out. With the laser I'm actually able to put the logo onto these different projects that I do and I can just change them out real quickly because everything is indexed. Slide that one out of the way and put the new one in. Move this back down to my start position and I can continue on. So this is a real fast way to be able to put your logo on multiple projects just by indexing where the project will go and then just hit start and just change them out real easily. Now you also notice that I have the keyhole slot in here as well and I use the exact same process by indexing the project I was able to swap out these different signs one after the other and using the CNC router I was able to go ahead and cut the keyhole slots. Exact same procedure as doing the logo. So I'm just going to swap out another one. And we'll keep this process going. You know, you really can't get any easier than this. I wanted to give you a quick close-up of how this laser is carving the logo. Now this logo is just over two inches wide, so it's not very large at all. Using the JTEX laser with the X-Car has absolutely been a fantastic combination. I absolutely love it. And I love the fact that I can mix between the laser, switch over and do the X-Car with the router, and back with just a click of the button on the computer. So switching from the JTEC laser and the Lightburn software over to the easel and using the router with the CNC machine is just literally one click away. The transition and the smoothness between the two programs is just phenomenal. I'm <laughs> amazed every day at just how easy this is. So if you've ever thought about getting into the laser carving as well as the um, CNC machining of the different projects, this is one of the ways that I certainly recommend you go. Once the fill is completed, then the laser switches over and does the outline of the logo. And you can see that the machine runs a lot faster. So this is actually the 70 inches per minute also. So in a matter of just a few minutes with one setting, I was able to put the logos onto all of these signs. The only thing that I did different on this one, I had one point marked for the center point, slid it over in place, and was able to engrave that one. So again, this is an incredibly easy way to be able to put the logo onto the back of the project. In addition to that, by switching over to the X-Carve, I was able to put the keyhole slots on all of the projects as well. The only thing about it, I got to admit, I forgot to do this one. I'm going to have to go back and set this one up and do it. But what the heck, it works so easy, it's not a big deal. 
The next thing that I want to do is try cutting all the way through this eighth inch plywood. Now this is 3.1 millimeters or an eighth of an inch. Haven't tried that yet, so this is going to be an experiment. The other thing that I did is I went to a local hardware store and they sell these little grids that go into the two foot by four foot light fixtures for the drop ceilings. And this one was all broken, so I got a discount on it. If it's broken, doesn't really matter. In fact, I'm going to end up cutting this smaller. But for right now, what I did is I just placed this down here because as this laser cuts through the plywood, what I'm hoping to prevent is for it to cut into the wasteboard. So I'm just going to put this down just as a barrier. So I'm going to set this up right here and I'm going to get a project and we're going to see if we can cut all the way through. Now in the light burn I'm using the logo again and I put a circle around this. Now this circle is actually one inch in um, diameter. And the idea behind that is I should be able to drill a hole into my project. Then I'm going to use this for the lathe turning to be an eighth of an inch deep and have this insert drop into it and glue it in place on my wood turnings. So that's the goal. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I'm going to carve this circle. I'm going to do that in five passes. The five passes is strictly a guess. And I'm going to use that at 70% uh, inch or 70 inches per minute on 100% power. Now, using the other logo, I know that I like the 70 uh, inches per minute on that, so I'm going to go ahead and change that now too. That seems to work really, really nice. So that's all set. So what I'm going to do now is be able to engrave the logo first that's the black portion and then I'll come back and with the blue and just do the line and see if we can cut all the way through it okay I have this set up now so we're going to see if we can engrave this and cut that out now this logo is cutting much smaller this time because it has to fit inside of that one inch circle. The one thing that I absolutely love about the Lightburn software and doing the laser engraving is that the fine detail that you can achieve with this software. This is one inch and it's doing great. So this is the test now to see if that's going to cut all the way through or if we're going to have to use more uh, passes or different settings. Okay, so far nothing has worked and I'm down to 10 inches per minute with the 10 passes and still nothing. So now I'm dropping down to 5 inches per minute. Alright, so far I'm going to have to call this a fail. I could, or a better way of putting it, I found 5 ways that you cannot cut through an eighth inch or three millimeter plywood. We started out at the 70 inches per minute with the tent five passes and of course that did virtually nothing. Then I went to 50 inches a minute with 10 passes. Then 25 inches per minute, 10 inches per minute and down to five inches per minute with 10 passes. It still did not cut all the way through. I did get two tiny little dots where it did come through but I still consider that a not a successful way and I don't like that much burning so I think what I'm going to do is be able to just use my logo in the center and then switch over to the X carve and let the router cut out my one inch circles and be done with it unless there's someone out there that can tell me what setting that they're using to be able to get that to cut all the way through. Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date 
on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.